the hell is behind me? What is this thing? Oh, hey, we're so, live! So we're Hi, we're live. I was gonna say! Hi. 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 Guys, it's the post-Raw Raw wrap-up just minutes after after uh, Raw has ended. We're ready to go. we got a full house here. Let's get right into it. I'm Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, of course, out here on the Google Hangouts. Um, again, just real quick stuff. I am not even in the studio. Uh, so, so first of all, uh, highlight of the night. Let's go through, Riz. Did you see what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's about it for everybody, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, that was that was fantastic. Um, the crowd. My my up. other my other highlight of the night was. Um, Zeb Coulter uh, asking for those who want to recognize the superior nation, place your hand over your heart <laughs> and say, we the people, and the entire arena did it. And thus, Manchester, the fans of Manchester, England, have recognized the United States as a superior nation as it is and always will be. America. Be. America. America. Exactly. America. Exactly. I really kind I of... I look a... forward to the bin mail. Yes. Uh, really kind of a very, very slow night, though, otherwise. Well, yeah, it, it was pre-recorded up. and in England and on a holiday. Yeah. That was, I, was, uh, there also was a lot of stuff that was just like, okay, like, we're sort of, like, getting through this. Like, a right back our truth match, or, you know. Do we really need so many handicap matches for the night? No, because all the handicap matches were great, Sorg. They were all great. They were all good. Amazing. They were good. No, yeah, actually, the, the Cody Rhodes, the, the Randy Orton, uh, Cody Rhodes Gold Dust match was good. Mm-hmm. Then the John Cena Real Americans match got better, and then all hell broke loose for the main event. Mm-hmm. I also great. like that 3MB changed their gimmick to fit the European flavor. Which they got a face pop. Yes. Which and like no one like I, there no was I'm, I missed it. Did they dress like Beatles? No, they came out no. dressed like Union Jacks and called themselves yeah. the Union Jacks. It, it, it would have been better to if come up if, with new names every time they go to a new town, and they're just like that town's band. I, and then I, they I go to like Biloxi, and like Biloxi doesn't have anything, so they have like some random like band that no one's heard of. No, you just do like the Biloxi Bandits. Yeah, Ooh. they come up with a new name every single. You night. just start going a little. Oh, bit I thought you were saying like playing off like real bands, but. No, oh, no, 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 no. They, the, oh. the, the Union Jack is not based off of a band. It's based off of the name of the of the flag of the United Kingdom. Okay. Um, See that the reference flew over my head completely. So. <laughs> and Amy learns a little cool. bit of geography. Because you are a fetus. Yeah. Um, also, is also most of the WWE audiences. <laughs> Also, America. True. Also America. true. So, yeah, big uh, blow up at the end. I, I I, think we have found our Survivor Series match in some fashion. We it have. It only took them two, until two weeks before well, the show, but sure, yeah. We still don't know how it's going to pan out on the show. Yeah, is it going to be a uh, six on six, maybe, it looks like? Is it going to be maybe a split up tag kind of match? I don't know. It's, it's got to be It's got to be the six on six. Cause Cause it's it's even really either sense. way. But see, here's the problem I have with it. Like the only the only slight thing, if you do have a six on six, what the hell is the rest of the card? Because that's a lot of people, storylines and titles. Being and that's a lot of people. I don't know. You have a very long match. Uh, yeah, probably. you can devote time to the match, and then yeah, you've got but, the WWE title. You've got the World Heavyweight title. You can throw in like a Divas match or an Intercontinental title match or whatever. And throw in the great match. match. Throw in some random shit. There's still tons of talent to throw in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, But but is it going to be talent that we care about? It's going to give other people that don't necessarily get a shot to have a shot on the paper either. Are we going to. Are we going to care about having Curtis Axel on this card? Or are we going to care about the match? Are we going to care about the six ma- the six on six Survivor Series match? But what I'm saying is, we could split this up into three matches and still have a great show. Yeah, you can, you can, bet, you can have three what's the, the last Survivor years, Series? Or months. Well, yeah, but you can uh, have um, you can have <coughs> Harper and Rowan versus Punk and Brian. Mm-hmm. And they can split up. They, they, wait, wait, Bo Diggity. Let's go Bo Diggity the floor. He has some bucks. 
Last year's Survivor Series had a grand total of six matches. You had the two. You had a Survivor Series match from Raw. You had a Survivor Series match from SmackDown, and then you had the Divas title, U.S. Championship, uh, World, and WWE titles. Right. So there's your whole show right there. So that, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. You have your Randy Orton Big Show match. You have Cena against Del Rio, possibly also Sandow. Um, you have that the Survivor Series match. You have your, you know, what's a, to be expected Divas match. Then you have Biggie Langston maybe doing something. Against who? Curtis Axel? Sure, why not? Sure. I mean, you have, you don't, it, it, listen, you have, uh, 2011, you had a U.S. title match, a Divas match, a world title, WWE title, the Survivor Series match, and then that one-off Rock and Cena tag team match. Oh. 2010, you had eight matches. You had two, or you had one Survivor Series match, then you had a U.S. title, an Intercontinental title, a Divas title, world title, tag team title, and then the Orton versus Barrett for the WWE title match, uh, and then like a random Morrison Sheamus match that got 11 minutes for some reason. Yeah. Like there's no, like there's nothing that says that you couldn't have five matches on this. You don't have yeah, to have. But there's nothing. The also, let's note that this is the first time if this match is going to happen. That it's a six on six Survivor Series match instead of five on five. Instead of five on five or four on four. And this really, in the long run, guys, this this match is going to be just an extension uh, of what we saw in our three way tag match last month, with the addition of the Wyatts and the and Punk and Bryan. I think it's going to be tremendous. I think I think it's going to be, uh, you know, everything you loved about that and more. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's the perfect thing. Yeah, I'm definitely excited for Survivor Series. I yeah, uh, I, 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 mean, I think I think it could be better served in a couple different broken up matches. So what will you do for a Survivor Series? Or are we just gonna say, hey, you know, we don't have a Survivor Series match? Survivor Series 2002 was one of the better Survivor Series. It didn't have a Survivor Series match because it had the Elimination Chamber, and that was it. Okay, but you can have an Elimination Tag match. You can have the Real Americans, the Rhodes Brothers, the Usos, and um, the Shield. All right, an elimination me, tag match. All right, hold on. Let me break down how this is how how this. So match. wait, even have also, also can I note that we were having a debate like a couple weeks ago about Survivor Series matches and how we want like a big like resurgence of the Survivor Series matches. Yeah, but yeah. right now it's not set up like that. It's only set up for one match, but they could break it up into three equally as awesome. Matches. I don't care if it. No, I don't care if it's. I don't care if it's one Survivor Series match or two or three Survivor Series matches. It's just to make, to make the Survivor Series match important and meaningful yeah. and really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're not going to care if they throw a random tag team. Yeah, I don't like, care you know, about... Do you really want a primetime players, Usos, Lost Matadors, and whoever else, you know, Survivor like, Series elimination? Yeah. I didn't mention anyone different that wasn't in the ring. That's, no. You mentioned Real Americans. Yeah. Okay, well, the Real Americans. But I'm saying, but, you're talking well, talk so about splitting that up, but then what do you do... For a Survivor Series match, you throw our truth in a bunch of people in, in something. I just said you know, our, our truth is forty years old. <laughs> I don't know why we care. He's forty years old. So is Triple H. So is a bunch of these guys. You yeah, know? but our, Triple H doesn't hump invisible air. Okay, that's, that's true too. You could do. You could easily do this without. You would. Ha you have to have a smack. Uh, I'm. They need to have a SmackDown match. Yeah, but Put together. What, what is SmackDown? SmackDown's not a thing, Smack AJ. SmackDown's not I a can, thing anymore. That's a thing. No, not really. I can see a younger... I can see a, a Survivor Series, not a six-on-six, six, maybe more like a four-on-four four type match mm -hmm. that's, that's more yeah, you compact. Go. No, do a five-on-five, five, but who would you put in it? Well, you'd take out Bray. Sand out. You would have to take out Bray and Ambrose. No, no, no. No, no uh, that's for, the for, for the oh, for no, the next one, made, no, 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 another, another one. five on oh, five. Oh, so we so we have Sandow. Mm -hmm. You're gonna weigh Sandow in, a, in like the first card, the first match on the card. Right, he doesn't have the money in the bank anymore, so who the fuck cares? Yeah, yeah. Uh, real he's Americans. Not he's, he's, yeah, the all Americans. He wrestled Kofi in like the third match on the card, so it's like. Uh, who else? Sandow, you could have Cesaro and Swagger. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's three. I need two more here. I need two more heels. Two, two more heels. Three MB. 
two of three and B. Uh, two of three and B. I, I I just think this. I I really hope that versus I'm, Los Matadors. You're just trying to get Kali onto the card. Los Matadors. <laughs> Kali's going to get on the El card. El Torito. And no, Santino and Kali. We know you're going no. to close with that. I was going to say Kali. Santino. And Santino. Justin Gabriel. No. But he has okay. a bad team. Oh, wait. Can, no, can, no, we, no, talk, no, can no, we talk first no, of all? The other guy. The other, Tyson Kidd. Okay, cool. Well, but, no, the, the, the and benefit then, okay, is okay, here going. Go. Let's talk about... Let's talk about Let's talk about the benefits of this match, not just from the fact that it's going to be a spectacular match because it's all the guys that are really busting their ass and are doing great stuff. I think it's going to be very helpful for the Wyatt family based off the fact that because Bray, the times that he has wrestled, it hasn't been as spectacular. The fact that he's going to be in there with so many guys, I think it's going to help him a lot uh, because, I mean, the wrestling aspect isn't his selling point. But when you're in there with all those dudes... That are all really good at what they do. Like I think Bray could really excel. I think I think Still Bray is. I think he's a good wrestler. I just think they haven't let him do it on he's, television. He was also he, injured for a little bit too. Yeah, he has good moments. And coming from a guy that's seen a lot of Bray Wyatt, he has good moments. He I I like his like running crossbody thing that he does. But the wrestling isn't his selling point. No, and I don't. The selling think... point is his character. And that's, up you know, until uh, uh, I don't know, up until recently, it, that's that's the story of CM Punk. I think I'm, CM Punk, I, CM Punk still has the wrestling of the character. He though. still has. And a, I'm not saying Bray Wyatt's a horrible wrestler. I'm just saying like he's not. I think CM I, Punk I, I, I hate in to the make, last like two years has gotten just, by a lot more on character than he has on wrestling. It he brings out true, but he can like, pull a good match out every now and then, but he's not. No offense to Bray Wyatt, but Bray Wyatt's like the Curtis Axel. Of wrestling ability, he looks like a, he's very much a competent wrestler, he, he but he doesn't necessarily do as interesting stuff as your Seth Rollins is and your Daniel Bryan's and stuff like that. You're gonna hate me for bringing this up. He wasn't good as Husky Harris. No. He needed a character boost, and this character makes him tolerable. No, I agree. Even I more. Think... Even more so, it hides the fact that he's an okay wrestler. Mm -hmm. But again, he doesn't have to have... I think if you let him be the Bray Wyatt we all think he is, and you just kind of let his, let his wrestling go, I think it works. Because it works for a lot of guys. Fuck, Triple H can't wrestle. John Cena can't <laughs> wrestle. Not Basically, true. Characters have not true. No, I, John Cena can very much. Well. It's, it's another debate. It's another debate. I, I'd it's, say both of those guys can actually technical wrestle, but technically wrestle. But, but it's it's once, been a long time since we've seen it from. But once you get to a certain point in your career, a lot you're of wrestling guys wrestling off of character and wrestling off of your move set than you are actually like exactly. I need to go out and put on a crazy match to, to get people to like me. Exactly, and plus they only break out the really like crazy things for something like a big pay per view. Right. I, I think or raw as we've been seeing is from the past like you know six months. Well, I think that they've I think that they've they've now kind of shifted raw around so that raw is the lead. And the, the, the pay-per-views are more or less just like, here's where we finished things. But yeah. let's get back to Raw. Because they yeah. know that it, maybe, they're, maybe they're getting more money off of advertising and, and chicken commercials than we think they are. And that the pay-per-view money is, isn't as strong as, as, as they'd like it to be. Well, not for, the, not for the months that aren't SummerSlam, Survivor Series, Rumble, and Mania. Also, AJ, yeah. to be fair, that was a crawfish commercial. It was a crawfish commercial. I will give you that. However, it was for Popeye's chicken. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Chicken. But for All right. Anything else you guys want to touch on tonight? Um, not. Nope. Uh, We've had some really Kane. memorable London shows. This was not it. What you got, Riz? Kane looks like Bull from Night Court. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, what are we thinking of the Kane thing? I didn't think he did a whole lot. I like it. I like it. I think it's fine. I, I think it was, you know, again, like you guys said, it was kind of a weird off show, of course. 
Um, but I kind of like where it's going. It's another person to become an authority figure. Uh, <laughs> of I the 20,000 authority figures. Yes, we need there. more, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's another... Um, I can't wait for him to confront Daniel Bryan. Hopefully they'll do and that. I, I, don't, I don't think they will because they're not... They might keep separated, yeah. I, well, it will happen eventually, I think. They'll get around they're done with Wyatt's, and, and, and I think everybody's going to come back over to this whole authority thing. Uh, because Big Show is not going to be a story for 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 long, and somebody I has to step in there afterwards. I don't um, think he's going to be a heel for that long. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what he does, but he's uh, got a movie coming out soon. Yeah, a movie coming out, but that he doesn't has, matter. That guy, hey, movie. I think he has to be a bad guy for this Should've for that to matter. work. Um, and I lost my other point, but go ahead. Um, I have one. Uh, if you're watching this. And I'm sure you are because I'm you, watching you this. Just watch Raw. Have you just watched Raw? Good. You probably know what I'm talking about now. Whenever they go to London, they always have a taxi <laughs> and a phone booth on the stage to signify that they are in fact in England. And I thought it would be really great if they did that for every city they go to. So what if you if Raw came to uh, any random city in the U.S. or really any city in the world? What sort of generic crap could they put on stage that would just be hilarious? Leave it down there in the comments, and, and maybe we'll read them uh, on the Wrestling Mayhem show at some point. You should you should leave them there, and then we'll talk about it. For instance, Pittsburgh, like we were saying, should be just like a bunch of bridges, and maybe somebody builds an incline uh, that 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 somebody jumps off. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, let's 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 see New York City. They put like a giant Empire State Building and a uh, like a, a yellow cab, they could do that. Um, Time for Manny sandwich, and they put the Divas title in there. <laughs> super sloppy double dare. Tell, in, tell us in, in the, the minute. Com- <laughs> tell us in the comments down below what would the si- the set would look like for when Raw comes to Biloxi, Mississippi. In Minnesota. <laughs> in Minnesota. <laughs> in Minnesota. It would just, it would just biggest be biggest biggest ball of twine. Because <laughs> you ever think about that? You ever think about how how ambiguous the city they're in? Like you get a shot outside, you get the little tag, but you really, really don't know it's in a different city. Mm-hmm. No, you really don't. Oh. They could shoot the same. They could shoot raw in the same arena and just shoot like B roll footage of any <laughs> like random town. Like we're in Biloxi, Mississippi tonight, and they're like people in Biloxi are like. No, you're not. <laughs> and the people inside are like, yeah, we're from Mississippi. Hell yeah. And they're like, that's the worst Southern accent we've ever heard. Hell yeah. Just have Archer say whatever city they're in because he gets it wrong sometimes anyway. It was, I was hopeful that he was going to say London. I was so <laughs> hopeful they were going to say London because it's apparently the, it, it would be great if it was like, I don't know any other cities in England. I'm sorry, y'all. And it's. <laughs> <laughs> Block backstage. What's up, France? It's my time. All right, guys, we'll have more discussion like this in uh, Survivor Series speculation, I'm sure, and all that kind of stuff uh, tomorrow night on the Wrestling Mayhem Show live at SorgatronMedia.com, live at WrestlingMayhemShow.com about 9 p.m. Eastern time uh, where we have the show proper. And, of course, join Eamon and the guys over uh, Thursday nights after Impact Wrestling Live if we don't, uh, to like, get that If we don't too. fall asleep during it. If they or don't decide not to, because we have lies. <laughs> so I should be around this Thursday. For the crew, we'll see you guys next week. This is the Raw Wrap-Up.